In this episode, you will see my office, the guest bedrooms, and the Jack and Jill. Specifically, you'll get to hear in the office the one design feature that was most important to me for my office space. Okay, so moving from the powder hall back into the living room, now we're gonna go look at the best the guest bedrooms and my office. So we're entering my office here and oh my gosh, like I'm so excited about this. Um, I'm so excited to finally move my office into my home um, because it is my work and so it just all around, it's just so exciting. But I intentionally placed the office on this side of the house and in this corner because I knew that this corner of the home would get the most natural light out of any room in the house. So I actually kind of have more creative spurts in the evenings. And so I wanted to maintain as much natural light for like working and productivity as possible. And I just really thrive in natural light. So I put these large windows in here and I even framed this space for French doors so that one day if I want to take out these windows, I could put French doors here to have access to the front of the house. Um, it, it's a great option to have. It was just one of those things that wasn't completely necessary and was a good kind of a good budget cut, but I'm really glad because now I'm going to be able to put a table in front of the window, whereas if there were doors, I would have had to maintain the space open. So um, I put an electrical outlet here so that it'll be on the edge of my desk and all of my cords can run off the side. My desk will face both windows and then I'll have nice cabinetry um, behind. I'm thinking an antique cabinet. I found one that I'm going to use temporarily, but it's not big enough, so I'm on the hunt for another. But it'll, it'll be good for the time being and I'll have all my fabrics and tile samples right behind me and easy access. Moving into guest bedroom one, I created these little niches, one so that you weren't like directly stepping out into the hall when you left the bedroom, kind of adds some interest to the door, frames up the door nicely, but it also creates a niche when, within the room so that I can like recess the dresser back into the area and you don't walk into the side of like TV cords or anything like that but it also gives me potential for like a built-in one day, a little reading area, I mean, kind of the sky's the limit, a built-in desk, kind of anything. So I really like that it's not just like a square room. And so that kind of added that interest that I was looking for in the space. And then it's a Jack and Jill set up bathroom. Each room has their own closet entering into the vanity area and they have a small vanity. I offset the sink so that they would have some extra counter space to the right. Um, I did that because a majority of people are right-handed so it's just easier to have things on the right. However, if you had someone that was left-handed, you should do it the opposite. I um, added natural light into the space because I just thought like, you know, if we have a little girl one day or if my sister comes, like they're gonna want some good natural light to put on their makeup. So I am so pleased with that. I'm gonna have to definitely get some window coverings on them for some privacy, but other than that, I'm super pleased. Um, so th there is a shared tub and a toilet space. So it's divided by a door here and then a pocket door here um, so that you'll have privacy within this little area. And um, moving into the next vanity, kind of the same same setup here. So moving from this vanity, you have the closet, it'll be two big doors um, with built-in shelves, and then into guest bedroom two. So again, I created this little niche where you enter the room and then it allowed this kind of space here. Like I said, I can recess a dresser, but I can probably fit like an accent chair beside it. So it's really, really cool. Um, I designed the rooms um, to be a little bit smaller. This one will have a full size bed for sure. And I'll place it right in between those two windows and um, yeah, just get some good natural light into the space. It's a favorite. So that's a wrap on the very first interior tour. Of course, we're about halfway through the construction process. So, 
You're going to see the next episode will be the port de and where we'll park our cars and my vision for that space, as well as a really cool antique I found recently that's going to hang out out there. And then we'll move into the interior construction, cabinets, all the things. So I cannot wait for you to tune into that. Thanks so much.